Here is a close-up of the dress. Here's the strap that goes to the top. has a nice cute little candy cane bow on it sewn in place and then here's the beautiful towel and then here is the back of the towel and then I folded mine so that I have a little bit extra length at the bottom for this project I'm using the Big Twist Sincerely yarn and this color is cream. The reason I like this yarn is because you can use the leftovers to make a hat. And I have a good video tutorial for that on my YouTube channel. I'm just showing how much yarn you get with this one. And I'm using Lion Brand yarn, the Woolies. You don't get as much yarn with this one, but I just love this color. This color is cranberry. And let me just show you how much yarn you get with this one. This one you get three ounces, so you, you don't get as much, 85 grams, but the color of this yarn is just gorgeous. And not only does it make good hats and mittens, but it also matches the color on the towel. This gorgeous towel that I got from Kohl's department store, they have a wonderful selection of towels. This one they sell is from St. Nicholas Square, Square, and you actually get a set of two and these towels are exactly the same and they're really soft kitchen towels. You're going to need your J or 6 millimeter crochet hook for this project and also a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. The buttons that I'm using are from Favorite Findings Holiday Chevrons and I got a really good deal on these buttons It'll be perfect because they have a little chevron which will match the dress and it has a red colored one. And I like these buttons because I can use a smaller tapestry needle. It will fit right through the buttonhole. So you, if you don't have this size tapestry needle you can just use a regular sewing needle and thread. But if you do have a tapestry needle with a large eye on it that will fit through your button, you're also going to need your yarn threader to help get the yarn through the eye of the needle. But like I said, if you don't have these two, the smaller tapestry needle and the yarn threader, then you can just use a regular sewing needle and thread. And if you want, you can add a decorative button to your dress as well. We're going to start with the cranberry color for the top of the dress. The first thing you're going to do is just fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. And then take your crochet hook and just put it right through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and your thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for a slip knot. Now you're going to make a chain of 30. I'm just going to show you a few of them. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for one, two, and you're just making a chain. Three, four. Go ahead and finish making a chain of 30 and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. After you have your chain of 30, go ahead and hold that last stitch you made with your thumb and your middle finger and then you're going to make a chain of 3. 1, 2, 3. This is going to count as your first double crochet for the next round and you're going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook which is the stitch that you're holding just yarn over, go into the fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. So that's three. four, five. Now in the sixth stitch you're going to do, make five double crochet into the same stitch. 
So we're going to make five double crochet into the same stitch. This is going to be a corner stitch. You can see how it kind of turns your work. That's what you want. Now you're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Then in the sixth stitch, you're going to make five double crochet into the same stitch for another corner stitch. And again, you can see how it's starting to turn the corner. Now you're going to make one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So one double crochet into the next eight stitches. And this is how your work should look so far. Now we made a double crochet into the eighth stitch. You want to make four more double crochet in the same stitch. So this eighth stitch is going to be a corner stitch. And you can see how I'm holding my fingers to help stabilize the crochet work as you crochet. So in the eighth stitch, you can see how it's a corner stitch. Now you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then you're going to make five double crochet into the sixth stitch. And then you can see how your work is looking so far. Now you just need one double crochet into the last stitches. So you have one, two, three, four, 
and 5. Then you're going to make a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first chain three that we created. I just want to show you here you have on the first chain three, this is the first chain. Here is the middle chain and we want to work a crochet into the top stitch of that first chain three that we created. So you just take your crochet hook go into that top stitch of that first chain three and then you're going to make a slip stitch so you just yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through both loops on your hook now you should have a perfect perfectly formed rectangle for the top of the dress go ahead and make a chain three one two Three, we're getting ready to start our next round. But first, take that loose yarn in at the bottom, put it onto your tapestry needle, and then you're going to take that bottom chain or stitch, and you're going to join the bottom together. So go ahead and just join it and tie a knot. Make sure you don't have a gap as you're joining and tying a knot. And then just leave the loose yarn end for now. Then for the second round, you're just going to make one double crochet into every stitch. until you get to a corner, the first corner, and remember in our corner we had five double crochet in the same stitch. We are going to make five double crochet into that third double crochet on the corner. So I'll show you. So one double crochet into every stitch until you reach the third double crochet on the corner. So on my corner here's one, here's two, and then here's the third double crochet in the corner. So you're going to make five double crochet into that corner. And this is what it looks like so far. So you can see where we started with our chain three and then we made one double crochet into every stitch until we got to the corner and then we went into the third double crochet in that corner and made five double crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to do that all the way around back to the beginning. So I'm going to work one more corner with you so you can make sure that you have it correct. I'm going to make one double crochet into every stitch. And you can see how I'm holding my fingers as I work. And then here, I got to the corner stitch where I have five double crochet in the same stitch. 
So I want one double crochet until I get to the third one. And then in the third double crochet on the corner, I'm going to make five double crochet into the same stitch. And then here is what the work is looking like so far. So go ahead and make one double crochet to the next corner and then in the third double crochet in the corner you're going to do make five double crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to do the same thing in this corner and then when you get back to the beginning come back and I'll show you what to do next. This is how your work should look so far. Now we're going to take and make the armholes but the first thing you're going to do is make a chain of three for this round one two three and then we're going to work one double crochet into every stitch until the first corner the third double crochet on that corner because I'm just going to show you this is the back of the dress Whoop. this is the back of the dress this is the armhole the other side is the armhole and then we have the front of the dress so right now we're going to work the back of the dress so you're going to make one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the third double crochet on the corner the first corner so one double crochet into every stitch until we get to the first corner And then when you get to that third double crochet in the corner, go ahead and make one double crochet into that corner. And this is how your work should look. You can see how I did one, I made one double crochet all the way until I got to the third double crochet on the first corner. Now you're going to want to take that third double crochet on the next corner you're going to fold your work and take your crochet hook and go into that corner. Then you're going to take and yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through both loops for a slip knot. And then you can see how you joined to make an armhole. Now you're going to make a chain of three one, two, three, and we're going to work along the front of the dress. So we just worked across the front of the back of the dress, so don't go back along that way. You want to go along the front of the dress and make one double crochet into every stitch until we get to the next corner to make the other armhole. So one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the next corner and then come back and I'll show you how to join the other armhole. So now we just finished the one armhole. We worked across the back so we started here worked across the back, joined to make one armhole. Then we started making double crochets across the front. And now I've reached the third double crochet into the next corner. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to fold it. Make sure you fold it in the right direction to where your armhole on one side is facing up. And then the armhole on the other side is going to be facing up. 
and then the back side is facing me, and then I have the front side facing down. Then you're just going to take and find the third double crochet in the next corner. Put your crochet hook right through that stitch, and then you're just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to finish up the back of the dress on the other side by making one double crochet into every stitch across the back. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up with you. And then once you reach the beginning stitch, we're going to make a slip stitch into this top stitch of the first chain three. So here's one. Here's the middle, and then here's the top. So you just take your crochet hook, go into that top stitch of the first chain three, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a slip stitch. Now you're going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now, we have the top to our dress. Very simple. Here's the front. Here's the back with the seam. Make sure you keep that in the back. And then we have our two armholes. And now we're going to make the beautiful chevron that goes around the body of the dress. Go ahead and turn it over. And then we're going to start by joining a different color and in this case I'm using the cream color to the back of the dress. Now I'm going to show you with my tapestry needle where I'm going to join my new color. Here is where I finished off. I'm going to take my crochet hook and just go through the top stitch of where I finished off. I'm just going to go right into that stitch with my crochet hook. I'm going to grab my new color, form a loop, then I'm going to make a chain one, then turn the work over. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn end to bury into your work. So I'm going to make mine a little bit longer. Then you can just tie a knot. I like to make three, just tie it three times just to make sure it stays nice and secure. And then as I work, I'm going to bury my loose yarn ends. The first thing we're going to do before we start the round is make a chain of three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to make one double crochet into every stitch around. Make sure you go behind your loose yarn ends. That way you're going to bury them as you work. Go ahead and make one double crochet into every stitch. And when you reach the first armhole, come back and I'll show you what to do at the armholes. So I've made one double crochet into every stitch. Now I'm at the armhole and what I'm going to do is just make a double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the top stitch of that first 
double crochet along the front of the dress. And then it just makes kind of like a V pattern near the armhole. And then you just make one double crochet all the way to the next armhole and then come back and I'll show you how to get past the next armhole. So I've reached the next armhole, but I just wanted to show you. So far, this is what my work looks like. Here's the one side of the back. Here's the first armhole. You can see what it looks like. Here's the front of the dress. And then now I'm at the next armhole, and I'm going to make the same. I'm going to work it the same way. I have a double crochet here. And now I'm going to make a double crochet into the top stitch of the first double crochet on the other side. And then I'm just going to make one double crochet into every stitch back to the beginning stitch. Now you're going to go ahead and join to the top stitch of the first chain three that you made. And now we're going to start the chevron stitch. So you just chain three for the first one. One, two, three. And then you're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. So you have a total of three double crochet to start with. Then you're going to make five double crochet into the next stitch. Into the same stitch. And then you're going to make one double crochet into three stitches. Then you're going to skip a stitch. So skip only one stitch and work a double crochet into the next three stitches. Then you're going to make five double crochet into the next stitch. And this is what your work looks like so far. You can see how you make a little wave, a little ripple, and then one double crochet into the next three. Then you're going to skip a stitch and you're just going to do this all the way around. One double crochet in three after you skip one stitch. Then you're going to make five double crochet in the next stitch. So you're just going to alternate this pattern making your ripple all the way around back to the beginning and then come back. Now I'm at the end. I just did five double crochet in the same stitch and then one double crochet in two and then I have one stitch left. I'm going to skip that last stitch and then join with the slip stitch to the top chain of the first chain three that we created. Then I'm going to chain through. Actually, now I'm going to finish off because I want to change colors. So I'm going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into the work. And then you can see how the dress looks so far. You have a ripple that's forming on the front and on the back. Now I'm going to take the second color. I'm going to take my crochet hook, go through that top stitch 
of the first chain three on the previous row. I'm going to take the main color of the dress and join it. Whoop. Make sure you leave enough of a loose yarn end for bearing into your work. And then make a chain one and turn your work over to tie a knot. Then you're going to make a chain three and you're going to repeat the same pattern and at the same time you're going to bury your loose yarn end as you work, both of them. So I'm going to work the first set with you. So I'm going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And that will give me, counting the first chain three, that will be three double crochet. I'm going to make five double crochet into the next stitch. and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. I'm going to go ahead and cut my loose yarn ends. I only did two double crochets so far. I'm going to do one more. And then I'm going to skip a stitch, skip a stitch, one double crochet into the next three, and then you're going to repeat the same pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Now I'm back to the beginning, and again I did my five double crochet. I had did one double crochet into the next two stitches, and then I'm going to skip my last stitch and just make a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first chain three. Then you're just going to finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Now to bury the loose yarn ends, you just take your tapestry needle and put any loose yarn ends onto the end of your tapestry needle and then you just weave them into the inside of your work. And then you just cut them. Now for the bow, you're just going to take both of your yarn ends and we're going to crochet with them together. So you just take both colors of yarn, hold them together. You're going to make a loop. Put your crochet hook through the loop. Hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through the loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make a chain the same way you did before. Just make a chain and you can see the beautiful combination color that you get. Almost like a candy cane. So go ahead, make your chain the size you want your bow and then come back and I'll show you how large mine was. Mine is a chain of 100 and then once you're finished with the length of your chain, go ahead and yarn over and then just pull enough yarn through just to secure the knot. And then you're going to take those loose yarn ends and pull down on the opposite end to make a knot, a secure knot. And then once you make your secure knot, you can just cut and leave about a centimeter and a half 
at the end and do that on both sides. Then you're just going to take and weave. I'm going to put the bow on this side, so I'm just going to start on this end. And then you just weave in and out. And then I'm going to skip three, go down into the inside of the dress, and then skip one and come back up and do that all the way around until you reach the beginning. Then you just tie a bow, and this is how mine looks. And I'm going to sew down the bow into the shape that I want with my tapestry needle. And I'm going to sew it with my red yarn. Now I'm just sewing my bow onto the front of the dress only, so I'm not going through to the back. And I'm just sewing it in place so it holds the position that I want. Then you take and just fold your towel the way you want it. So I folded mine so that the Merry Christmas is showing. And here is what it looks like at the top. So I actually just placed it right over the towel and I still have my snowman showing. Then I just take my tapestry needle and I'm using the same color as the main color of my dress. And then I'm just going to take my tapestry needle. I'm going to go in from behind. Make sure you go into the same color area and you just come up through the towel and through the dress with your tapestry needle. and then you just sew it in place and tie a knot on the back. As I'm sewing, I'm making sure that the edge of the dress is equal on both sides and just kind of holding it there as I sew. And it's really easy to go in and out with your tapestry needle. Now I'm just going to show you how to make the strap. For the strap, you just make, get your yarn, make a loop. We're going to start with the slip knot. Just hold the base with your middle finger and thumb. Just yarn over and go through the loop for your slip knot. Then make a chain of three. One, two, three. Then hold that last stitch with your middle finger and thumb. And then you're going to make a chain of three for the next round. One, two, three three for the next row I mean then yarn over go into that fourth chain from the hook which is the stitch that you're holding and then make your double crochet and then you're just going to make one double crochet in every stitch across and that will give you a total of four stitches and you can make your strap larger if you want but I made mine four stitches long and this is what your work looks like so far then chain three. One, two, three. Then you're going to turn your work. And you can see this upslope here. You're not going to work into the base of your first chain three. You're going to work in the next stitch over. So that's two, three, and four. Make sure that you always have the same number as you're working across so that you have straight edges. So then chain three, one, two, three, turn your work and then you're just going to keep making one double crochet into every stitch across until you have the length that you want for the kitchen towel strap. So go ahead, finish making the length that you want. And if you want to make it the same length as me, then come back and I'll show you how long I made mine. Now I made mine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rows. Then at the end, I'm going to make the buttonhole. So I'm going to chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch on the opposite side. So I'm going to go into that top stitch on the opposite side. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then I'm going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Go ahead and bury your loose yarn ends. Then you're going to take, make sure that you have the button loop at the top and then make the sides of the dress even the way you want it to look in the front. Then you're going to take your strap and put it into the back of the dress. Line it up so that it's, it's equal on both sides. And then I make about two rows down to sew on. And then you're going to get the same colored yarn as the front of the dress. And then just put it onto your tapestry needle. And then you're going to take and sew the strap in place going from behind to the front and then just leaving enough loose yarn in on the back to tie a knot and then just sew it in place, bury your loose yarn ends and then come back and I'll show you how to put the button on. Now there are two ways that you could sew your button on. You could use a regular sewing needle and thread but I'm going to use my excess yarn that I had and I'm using my smaller tapestry needle I'm just going to put the eye the hook right through the eye of the smaller tapestry needle I'm just going to take my yarn hook it and bring it back through and the easiest way I found to get the yarn through is just jiggle up and down it comes right through and then you could take and just sew your button right to the back. If you're sewing with needle and thread, make sure you don't go through to the front and mess up the design on the front. But if you are using the same colored yarn, then no one's going to be able to tell. And then I'm just going to tie a knot through the back. So I don't want to tie the knot onto the front of the dress. My buttonhole was just a little bit too big for the button. So if you find that yours is the same way, you could either make a smaller chain, initial chain, or you can just take the same colored yarn and your tapestry needle and just take and tie a knot. And then that just makes a little bit of smaller loop for your button. And then just bury your loose yarn ends. So I decided to add a little button to the front of my dress. And on the back, you can see what it looks like on the back. 